If you're closely following the Home Assistant project, you probably know what this is. This is the Home Assistant Voice Preview Edition, which is basically their entry level into voice hardware. Think about Amazon Alexa, Google Home, all of the small devices that are basically voice boxes that you speak to and it speaks back to you to control your home. This is Home Assistant's first version of that. And while it is packed with a ton of features, I'm not gonna go into all of those right now, but I did wanna talk about one feature that I think is a hidden superpower of Home Assistant, and you can use it with any of their voice expressions. So if you've got voice installed on an S3 Box 3, or just using it within Assist within the UI, all of this works with that too. Hey Jarvis, how's the driveway looking? Is it icy? The driveway is covered with a layer of snow or ice. It's clear of obstructions, but watch your step if you head outside. We had a pretty big ice storm yesterday, and I was wondering if the driveway was full of ice. Rather than go all the way down over my garage or try to figure it out through the window and have poor visibility of the garage from upstairs, it's like, why can't I just ask my AI about the driveway? It should have access to that camera but I don't have a pipeline or a tool set for it to hook into to know exactly how to go about that. So here comes the superpower. Within maybe three minutes or less, I had a very simple script written out to give me the responses that I'm looking for. Now if we go take a look at the script anatomy, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and create a new one, just show you how quickly and easily this, this can really happen. First, we need to start a new script. Jump into scripts, create a new script from scratch. And we'll begin our sequence. So the first thing we want to do is grab a fresh snapshot of the garage doorbell camera, which faces the driveway. And then we're going to add a little delay because it is a cloud-based camera and we need to give it a sec to process. And then we're going to add the LLM vision image analyzer, which is a hacks integration. I'll drop the link in the description below. But basically, this allows us to send any Home Assistant images or images within Home Assistant, or really any images at all, it doesn't have to be within Home Assistant, to any of the various LLMs that exist out there. And this particular integration supports quite a few. Then we got to give it a prompt. I'm going to be very brief about this, but you can get, obviously, as elaborate as you'd like. Again, you can be a lot more detailed with this. And it is an image entity. You can also give it file paths, multiple file paths, multiple image entities if they're within Home Assistant, and it can analyze them all in one go. We'll include the file name, give it a bit more context. Don't need a target width. It's not going to be that big. This is good for scaling down. Give it some more tokens to use. And then let's increase the temperature a little bit so it can be a bit more creative with the responses. And I will expose it, which basically just saves it to this particular path. It's good for debugging and analysis later. And then we'll give it a response variable and we will call this cam snapshot summary. Now we have to build the response variable that actually gets sent back to the LLM. So we will look for a variable. And I hope that this part gets a little bit more intuitive as we progress through voice and AI, which I know it will, because this is a bit more complex. And uh, we'll create a new variable here. We've got this response variable right here. Make sure that that's included. And then I will copy and paste this from another integration, but a little bit more for the LLM. Do not include emoji. Make sure your response is conversational since it's being audibly broadcasted over a speaker system. And then this will include the entire summary that I got from this image analysis. And then the last thing we have to do is stop the sequence. And we need to do this to ensure that this response variable is properly set. And then that's all there is to it. It's just these components 
I'm using this for so many different things. Like I've got a security check script, which allows the LLM to choose four different pathways to go down, depending upon what I've asked for. So we set up a field and you can then give it different actions and pipelines to go down. So for example, this one will query all of the camera snapshots. And then the response variable looks like this, as opposed to the basement. Like let's say I asked something about the basement security or motion sensors, it would go down this pipeline. And then that response variable has a response for the motion sensors, one for the camera snapshots, one for the door contact sensors. And then those all get stacked and rolled up together in the overall response that gets fed back to the LLM. So you can really get fun and creative with these and it totally supercharges the AI within Home Assistant. So that is pretty much everything I wanted to talk about today. It's a quick one, but I think it's an important one. Like I said, I think this is one of the most underappreciated, underexposed features of Home Assistant and it totally supercharges the AI potential. So anything that you have in your mind that you would maybe want to get AI summarized, uh, create correlations for, give you feedback on, you can create a script for that in a matter of minutes. That is way more than Alexa or Google Home or any of those other systems can do. They're limited to the tool set that is provided by those software companies and they can be robust and give you a lot of tools and flexibility, but it's nothing like this. I'm excited to see where this goes. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.